One thing I'll be covering on my channel over the coming months and years is authentication. And I'm very passionate about authentication. I really love it. One thing that really grinds my gears and gets to me is the rampant misuse and misinformation regarding the Sigma Metalytics Precious Metals Verifier. It's a good machine, but I think that if you're not going to read the owner's manual and you're not going to experiment with the machine and you're going to refuse to understand what the machine is actually telling you, then I think owning the machine is actually worse than not owning it at all because if you own it without understanding what, it's, what information it's giving you, you're going to misuse it. There are various alloys of various precious metals and of base metals that have identical resistivities to one another. So the machine might say, oh, this piece of metal has the electro resistivity of 999 gold, but the piece itself might not have any gold in it whatsoever. And if you didn't read the owner's manual and you don't know what the machine is spitting out and you haven't done experimentation, uh, you will not realize that. So the machine, it's a wonderful tool in our toolkit along with other tools. Um, typically with gold, I do hit every single piece of gold that comes across my desk, whether it's from other dealers or from the public. I verify the resistivity, and assuming they're not sealed, I physically uh, listen to the sound, occasionally hitting against other coins, but usually just one coin at a time hitting against a desk, um, and feeling the coin in my hand and looking at the obverse strike, the reverse strike, and the collar die strike, making sure that all the detail looks correct. And also I'll weigh everything, so not only am I feeling it in my hand, but I'm also getting the weight. So I'm not actually using calipers, but feeling it and getting the weight, I'm getting an idea that the density is correct and hitting it with the, res uh, the sigma, you know that the resistivity is correct. And fortunately, I'm not familiar with any gold alloys that can fool, or any alloy to begin with, that can fool both a resistivity analysis and a specific gravity analysis. But anyway, sigma, it's a good machine, but you can't use it by itself if you're going to refuse to learn how it's properly used, you will rampantly misuse it, and when you find that you've bought stuff that's not what you thought it was, you will be blaming the machine instead of yourself.